Hey everyone, Mandy Lee here. New Camps Tab 400 has been an amazing trailer since it came out. It's been a while since I've done a full walkthrough of a Tab 400, but there's enough changes in the 2023 that I wanna go ahead and give you the full tour and point out some of those updates. If you're interested in all the specs, like tank sizes, weights, etc., hang around till the end and I will fill you in. All right, let's start with a quick lap around the outside of this camper. So not a lot of huge changes on the outside, but I'm gonna show you all around anyway. Still has the classic door, which I love, and the portal window. If you go for the boondock edition, you're also gonna get the boondock handle, which is really sturdy. They all also come with this really sturdy step that's easy to put up and pull down. You've got your two 110 outlets on the outside, which comes in really handy if you want to plug in lights or a cooler or something. And then over here, you'll notice there is a door with access to storage that's under the bed. And one of my favorite things, they've put a magnet in the door, which holds it up. It's all in the little things. All right, moving around the back side. You'll notice there's still the two very sturdy handles on the back of the camper. You can pivot it around, you can move it around. These things are so small and easy to handle. It's really nice to have those. And on the other side of the camper, you're going to see the access to the seaflow system, which is what controls all of your water. Again, same little magnet to hold the lid open. This light is super awesome. You can turn it on, off, or you can have it set to a motion detector. So if you just come back here, the light will pop on. I love this because it makes handling your water so easy. It's got all of the instructions right there with all of the little knobs you have to turn, including when you do get a camper, there will be a hose, and this is also your outdoor shower. All right, moving on. Here we have our 30 amp plug very standard. Moving around the front, we have our tongue box. I absolutely love the shape of this box. It's big enough to fit two propane tanks in it if you would like to. If not, you've got plenty of storage. Also, they've added a back to it so that nothing's going to fall out and stuff's not going to get as dirty. On the boondock edition, you will also get the boondock platform, which is great for storing extra stuff. Next, let's get to what you've all been waiting for, the inside. One of the first things you'll notice is that they've changed the storage back here through this window. There's still plenty of storage down in here. It's really deep, which is very nice. But rather than having to access the extra storage from the window, they've added these little storage cubbies, which are really nice. Next, you'll notice they've added built-in curtains with hardware. Now, if you're like me, you had to make your own back in the day, but now they do it for you. Adds a little bit of nice aesthetic to the camper. And then the dinette itself. You'll see that instead of that sort of awkward curvy table, they now have a standard square table um, set on a lagoon mount. So it's adjustable just like in the 320. And one of the biggest changes is that this new table creates a space to where you have a c-shaped dinette you now have a cushion that goes all the way across the back i won't lie this is a pretty tiny space over here you could maybe put a child over there but it's extra space and this is what allowed them to add one of my favorite new features coming in a minute i'm going to tell you about the bunk bed all right, facing into the rest of the camper, we have our kitchen, our bathroom, our bedroom, everything you need for comfortable camping. First, starting in the kitchen, we've got a sink with a fold down glass top, which is nice because it allows for some extra counter space when you're not using that sink. Also the Dometic two burner stove over here with an igniter button. So that's really nice. You don't always have to have a lighter with you. It does come with a microwave. However, that is an option. If you don't want the microwave, they can put a cabinet for extra storage there, um, storage up top. And of course, below the sink, we have a lot of storage and two cabinets that open up to access that. Next, the refrigerator, super important, especially for those who like to cook. So we have the Isotherm Cruise 130 refrigerator. This is a super efficient AC-DC fridge, which will run for days off of your lithium battery. It also is very spacious, 4.6 cubic feet in here, along with a little mini freezer up top. Right behind me, this big door, is the large and spacious bathroom. This bathroom has been redesigned. You'll see in the corner, they have taken away that flip down sink, which really opened up a lot of extra space for showering. So instead, there's a small basin in the corner with a really nice faucet that's kind of tall. You have a lot more room now to shower, to sit on the toilet, to do your business, and it just feels a lot more open. So they did a great job with that redesign. 
And finally, we get to the bed. Not much has changed here because honestly, not much needed to. It's really close to a queen size bed. It's also really comfortable because standard, every unit is gonna come with the Froley spring system underneath the mattresses. They've done a great job with outlet access. Near the head of the bed, you're gonna have an outlet that will run off the inverter, so you can plug in USB or regular 110 plugs. And the great news is they've added one to the foot of the bed as well. And finally, I think New Camp has done a great job updating the amount and the access to all the storage you have. So check this out. Huge drawer right here. This space is finished out as a large cubby. You can put a basket in there and hold lots of stuff. You've got this huge cabinet here with a shelf in it. You've got three drawers, one, two, three. And my favorite thing is that instead of having to lift up your mattress and all the stuff on your bed to access the underbed storage, they now have a drawer right here so you can easily access everything in that storage area. And one of my favorite new storage areas is under the dinette seat here. They've opened this up to where it's just completely storage down under there now. Next, to point out a couple of the smaller details, first, every camper is going to come with a fantastic fan out here in the main area, and there's also a fan in the bathroom. Up here, we have kind of our little control center. This is going to be the control panel for the Aldi system. It does come with heating and hot water which is what the Aldi controls. Next, you've got the controller for your Dometic air conditioner. Finally, you have the panel that shows all of your levels for your tanks and your battery. It's got your light switches and also your water pump switch. Finally, over here in the cubby by the head of the bed, there is an inverter switch, which will turn that inverter on and off, which will run this outlet. There's also a switch that says battery heater, and this is because the lithium batteries do need to be heated when you get below a certain temperature. And a light switch, because we love light. And just above the fridge is where the entertainment system is located. It is wired to two speakers in the front of the camper, a speaker in the bedroom, and the television. There's an HDMI input and a USB input. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Tab 400 is no longer just for couples, it is also for small families, thanks to the amazing disappearing bunk bed. So let's transform this dinette into bunk beds. I'm gonna show you how. And voila, check out the creative use of this space to add bunk beds. If you wanna get a little concept for the size of these bunks, I am, what, five foot three and a half, and I can lay down plenty comfy with extra room. I'm not like feeling claustrophobic. I think it's fairly comfy down here. Now, the top bunk is rated for 200 pounds and feels pretty dang sturdy, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Now I'm short, but I can lay completely straight with a little bit of extra room um, at my head and at my feet. It's a little bit skinnier, but honestly, pretty comfy. I mean, I know this thing is made for kids, but I say put four adults in here. All right, I'm about six foot one and 170 pounds. So let's take a look at how I fit in the bottom and the top bunk. I feel like the bottom bunk is pretty spacious for somebody about my size, maybe just a little bit bigger, but probably not any taller. Laying fully straight out, uh, my head is tilted up just a little bit, but to be honest, how many people actually sleep like this? I sleep more like this. Now for the top bunk. A little bit less length on the top bunk because you have cabinets and the little cubby hole thing down here which is actually pretty good for my feet to go through. I could sleep on my back and be pretty comfy, to be honest. So you may be wondering, what does it take to make the amazing disappearing bunk bed disappear and reappear? I don't know, so let's find out. Voila! Now that we're done making it disappear, let's make it reappear. And there we have it. Man, I wish I could really move like that in real life. 
All right, let's talk about battery and power for a minute. Now, every Tab 400 is gonna come standard with 195 watts of solar as a thin curved panel on the roof. You're gonna get a 1200 watt inverter and one 100 amp hour lithium battery by Battleborn. Now with that standard setup, the outlets that are gonna run off the inverter will be the one by the dinette and the one by the head of the bed. But wait, there's more. You can upgrade the lithium package to include four 100 amp hour Battleborn batteries, the Victron 3000 watt inverter, and the Victron Smart Shunt, which is a device that will allow you to install an app and monitor your batteries on your phone. Now, when you do this upgrade, all of the outlets in the camper will work on that inverter. And guess what? You can run your AC off the batteries. That's right, New Camp tested it, and while running the AC at full power, they got four and a half hours of runtime. That's pretty cool. And finally, the nitty gritty details I'm gonna read to you. The total exterior length is 18 feet, three inches. The width is seven foot, six inches. The exterior height, this is important if you wanna throw it in a garage, is 106 inches. And on the inside where you can stand is 79 inches. For the water tanks, you've got 22 gallons fresh, 18 gallons gray, and 12 gallons black. The dry tongue weight is 390 pounds, and the total weight of the trailer dry is 2,949 pounds. As you can see, I think New Camp has made some amazing changes to this camper. Now it really can fit a whole family and not just a couple. I think that's gonna change the game for everybody. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can keep bringing you great content. Love and light. But wait, there's more. Okay, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. You're looking back, okay. But wait, there's more. I said that funny.